Hi everybody. So today what I'd like to do is to show you a little bit about how to catch a ball, whether it's in the air or on the ground. The mechanics are a little bit different, but I know if you practice it, you're going to get good at it. So let's just talk about in the air. That's the first thing. <clears throat> the first and foremost thing that I want you to do is to get in a position where you're protecting your face. So you have your thumbs together, whether you're wearing a glove or not, I, I actually prefer not wearing a glove when you just first start. But you have your hands together and you're almost like a little peekaboo style where you're looking over your hands. So when the person's ready to throw to you or you're about to catch a ball, you are in this position where your hands are here and if you should happen to make a mistake, you've protected your face. Okay, so let's look at what it looks like for a ball that's in the air coming overhead. So what you're going to do is, wherever the ball is, you're going to have your hands up and you're going to follow the ball with your eyes. The absolute worst thing that you can do is close your eyes. If you do that, guess what? You will never catch the ball. Keep your eyes open, follow the ball no matter where it goes, like that. All right, now the other thing that I think you're going to notice that I'm doing, I have my hands out and when the ball comes, I bring it into my body a little bit. I am throwing it underhand. I could easily throw it overhand. But you can see, I always want to catch it right about here if I can. Okay, if it's on this part of my body, my hands are like this. If it's a little bit lower, I have to twist my hands like that quickly. So even if I'm standing like this, if it comes here, my hands have to go like that. Okay? So Protect your eyes, protect your face, absorb the ball. So now let's look at what happens when the ball is on the ground. I'm going to get a position, I'm going to soon walk back, and I'm going to get in a position where my feet are like this, shoulder width apart, and I'm going to have my knees bent. What I usually do is when the pitcher is ready to pitch, I might be like this, relaxed, and then when the pitcher throws the ball right before the batter is hitting it, I will get down a little bit lower. Like that. So I'm like this as the pitcher's ready to throw, they throw the ball, and then I anticipate the ball being hit, I get ready. Okay, you never want to stand here like this waiting for the ball to be hit. You always want to be on your toes and ready to move. So after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get my hands down to fill this hole that's right here. So the ball's coming to me. Is to keep my hands in this position. So you notice that one foot kind of drops back like this. That's perfect. It's actually not very good to catch it like this. I think it's better to go ahead and have one foot back a little bit more like that and have your hands and bodies down. So hand and body down. So you're like this. As the ball comes, you're coming in here like that and my glove and my hand are down here like this. And it's going to be very unlikely that the ball is going to go through my my legs. So let me show you a little bit what it will look like. Even if I miss it, what I, what's going to happen is the ball is going to come right there. Now, the other thing you'll notice is, for those of you who do play a lot, you can really get good doing this outside of the wall. Again, pick a wall that there's no windows, you have some space. Um, get a ball that'll come back a little bit quick to you, not too fast, and just over and over again, throw. And you'll notice that my hands are like underneath the ball and they come up like this. The reason you do that is now I'm gonna get ready to throw like that. So if you practice this over and over and over again, guarantee you will be getting good in a very short amount of time. So this is something that you can practice a few minutes a day or even longer. You can have somebody throw the ball to you or you can just throw the ball off the wall over and over. Got it? Go practice.